Now, it's a transport service which thousands of elderly and disabled Londoners rely on to get around the capital. But BBC London has learned dozens of complaints have been made against dial ride We've heard reports of vulnerable people being left stranded, but this has been denied by Transport for London. Hannah Gray has this report. Thank you for calling dial ride Thank you for your patience. Our reservations team are all busy taking calls. Waiting and waiting. This is part of Michael's daily routine. If you wish to make a booking, press 1. He's been using the dial ride service for 12 years. His next-door neighbour, Lisa, used to use it too for her husband, Rob, before he passed away. He would be a total recluse if he couldn't get half the places that dial ride took him. It's vital, they told me, in order to stay active in the community, but it's letting people down. There's been many dozens and dozens of cases whereby elderly people have been left stranded because they're used to having being taken out and coming back. Why would someone, an organisation, take that safety net away? He says that ever since dial ride got a new computer system, it's been harder to book a guaranteed return journey. Here's the recorded message that dial ride members hear while they wait on the phone. If we are fully booked, we may be able to offer you one part of your journey, that is, the outward or the return journey only. Please only accept this if you're able to make alternative arrangements to complete the round trip. But members say if they can't book a round trip, they have no choice but to cancel the journey, and the number of passenger cancellations has been rising. In the year to 2005, over 130,000 passengers cancelled dial-a-ride trips. Last year, it rose to over 240,000 cancellations. That's an increase of 85%. At the moment you find people can't get through on the phone line, they can only get a, a booking one way so they can't get back from where they want and these sort of issues mean that people can't enjoy the service and what we're finding is fewer people are starting to use this service and it's in decline in London. I'm really sorry to hear that so I'm, I'm, I hate to think that there are people out there without ways home so we do offer if there's an emergency situation and obviously we'll obviously get one of our buses out or a taxi if we need it, something like that. But, um, but as I say, we would never book somebody with just a, a one-way journey. That just wouldn't happen. If it has happened for some person, I, I can only apologize and say I'm extremely sorry it's happened. We'll make sure that it doesn't happen again. But those that use the service aren't convinced. They say they can't get around without it, and they deserve an efficient service that allows them to travel around the capital safely. Hannah Gray, BBC London News. Well, many of you have been writing in with your experiences. Julie Roberts says we have experienced a vast improvement in dial ride in the Havering area for my elderly father the past few months. Denise emailed us saying I'm disabled and experience verbal and physical abuse on a daily basis. My experiences are not usual. And Roger says on trains, priority seats are invariably occupied by able-bodied people who like to use their laptops. He's asking Londoners to look up to see who might need those seats well if you have an experience to tell us about you can get in touch with us contact us on facebook or twitter or email us at your london at bbc.co.uk